Alright, hello! Welcome to Baldur's Gate 3. It's a... What's it called? Isometric RPG, made by Larian Studios. Uh, give your profile a name. Uh, same people who made Divinity Original Sin. Great games. I don't know why it's allow asking me to allow access to the game. But, yeah. I have not played Baldur's Gate 1 or 2, but... Divinity Original Sin 2 was really good, so figured I'd give this game a shot. Just came out on Early Access, so we'll check out, uh, see what it's all about. Now I'm just going to be quiet for the rest of this cutscene.
All right. Is there an, is is there another cutscene? No, there's not. Okay, cool. Knocked out. That was a fucking ridiculous cutscene. Holy shit. <laughs> All right. Anyway, here we are. Drow warlock. Fuck. What was her name again? It was like, Baso. I actually don't remember what our name was. What did I what did I name myself? It started with a B, I think. Um. Bolzor. Ah, yes, we are a level one warlock. Uh, our patron is the fiend. We're a drow. Uh, let's go look around. All right. Uh, is there a way to change the camera angle? The mouse just zooms in and zooms out. All right, so let's take a look at the nursery. This what the fuck is, the is this? That thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Oh, this is just like, uh, reach towards the pool, investigation, investigate the pool, or leave. It's just like uh, Divinity Original Sin, where they have a second person narrator. Let's roll the dice, boy. We need to get an eight. We got a 14, plenty. Investigation check, success. Right, uh, reach towards the pool. Crumbles beneath your hands, sloshing the volatile brine as it collapses. Dang, that sucks. Oh, hey, it, like, knocked us back. It didn't do any damage, though. Alright. <laughs> what is this? Fire! De <laughs> deals 1d1 fire. Or 1d4 fire. Who would have thought that fire would hurt you? Mind Flayer Pod. Might still be stuck inside if you hadn't been attacked. <laughs> That's another Mind Flayer Pod. Someone else got out. Basic movement. Basic camera controls. Hold middle mouse button and move the mouse. Okay, so you can. Okay. So if I do this, that rotates the camera. Okay, cool. And then zoom in, zoom out. Can I go up here? I can go up here. All right. So where do we go? Hey, there's a dead guy here. Uh, wait, what? Use jump to reach. Jump? Uh, use jump to reach higher places and jump over obstacles. Open in journal? No, okay. Uh, where is, where is that? Jump to here. Not enough space. Target is too far. There we go. Let's go over here. Ow, I'm on fire. There's a brain in a jar there. This guy has a scroll of mage armor. We'll take, uh, and three gold. We'll take all that. We have now taken three damage. But that cures us. Let's just jump down here. Take some damage. It's okay. We can just restore ourselves, I'm guessing. Oh, my, did I, like, break my legs? I don't know. I just had to take a second to get back up. Anyway, I think this is where we're supposed to go. Is there anything else in here? Does it look like there's anything else in here? What is this? I can pick this up. It costs nothing. Creates a puddle of caustic brine that deals 1d4 acid damage per turn. A that, that could be useful at some point, maybe. Oh, hey, there's a chest with a potion of fire resist and a potion of healing. This game aesthetically is pretty interesting, I gotta say. Like all this creepy stuff. Oh, we got another chest. Cartilaginous chest. With an alchemist fire and a grease bottle. Dude. I don't know where I would be if I did not get my bottle of grease, let me tell you. Yeah, 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 I broke my legs. <laughs> let me just uh, heal up at this creepy chill with creepy tentacles coming out of it. Anyway, let's move on. -da -boo -boo. What is this? Illithid record? Their habits and histories flash into your mind. What the fuck? Is that somebody actually saying that or is that... Alright, there's a dude over here. What did that say? Vish viscous chair? Maybe I shouldn't sit in that. Oh, if I if I click on it again, it just 
forces me to sit in a brain jar. Uh, we got a mucoid shell. I don't know what that is. And a solidite shell that apparently has infinite health. Dark mind. Another brain. Whole bunch of brains. There's brains everywhere. All right, there's some people talk. Can I get up here? Is there any way? I don't think there is. Let's talk to this neural apparatus or look at it. Oh, hey, cool. So it's like an elevator. Interesting. Got a bunch of brain jars. Hello, Myronath. Myronath. He looks dead. Are you sure he's not dead? Oh, he. That's nasty. The brain's just hanging out. Please. Before they return. They return. Who am I talking to? A man or a brain? I think you're past the point of saving. Tell me what to do. You sound afraid. Why? The enemy. So many enemies. Uh, who am I talking to? Something tells me I shouldn't trust this brain. Talking to an intellect devourer, a minion of the mind flayers who abducted you. I think I should probably kill the brain. I think you're past the point of saving. Tell me what to do. Remove us from this body, from this case. Free us, please. Huh? You, let me just take this creepy brain that's gonna probably kill me out of it. Um. Gently prize the brain from the skull. Let's just destroy the brain. <sighs> Jesus. That's kind of nasty. Just reach into the skull and squeeze his goddamn brain. Yeah, of course he had nothing on him. Um, is there anything here? So it looks like a bunch of brains and jars. Oh, hey, there's a chest. With two caustic bulbs and two spiked bulbs. And another chest. Listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna be looting, scooting, and booting all over here. Ten gold, hell yeah. See, hundred percent worth it. Let's take this bad boy down. Probably could have just jumped down, but then again, I don't have a free Healy thing right next to me. Boo. Let's head on out. Oh, hey, there's a dragon. Woo! Holy shit, dude. This game is so fucking good looking. God damn. Alright. Leap of faith. Meow. God, holy shit. Like, look at it. You're just flying around. Obviously, it's a barren landscape. Nothing to... This is your end. Your Hello? Head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon's wing. A silver sword. And a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. My head. You got some cool armor. What is this? Blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Imps block the path forward. You will assist me in destroying them. We must Apparently, this place is called the Nautiloid. Transform. transform. What the fuck does that mean? We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be gay. Mind players. Hmm. Honestly, that sounds kind of cool. Like big old Cthulhu ass mind flayer boy. That'd be pretty dope. I, I can I just do that? Can I just wait until I mind a mind flayer? We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. You can't tell me you wouldn't want to be a mind flayer. Like that sounds pretty dope. Uh, who are who you? Am I? 
Your only chance of survival. Listen, that's not a name. All right, like you could have just told in the amount of time you it took you to say that sentence, you could have just told me your name. Like you could have just said, "Hi, my name's Crystal. This I work at Hot Topic." But no. Once in command. The Gaaf. You see, it told me escape the Nautiloid, so I'm assuming Nautiloid is what the ship is called. She's calling it the Gaff. Onward then. I guess we're teaming up with her. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. All right, so we gotta fight some uh, some little imp boys, I guess. Combat turns. Okay, so now we're gonna do combat, and I'm assuming the combat is pretty much the same as it was in Divinity: Original Sin 2, where you can move a specific distance depending on what your speed is. You have a certain amount of combat turns. There's a turn. It is a turn order which is based on influenced by initiative dexterity. Actions are... Wait, there's available actions. Okay, so you can do those things and then these. And then I guess these too. Uh, bonus actions. Bonus actions are actions you can perform on top of your normal actions. And, excuse me, movement bar shows how much distance you can... Okay, so it's a bar. I can move 9 meters. And how many, how much, what, what all can I do? Main hand attack, cleave, ranged attack, ping down. Do I have a weapon? Oh, I'm using her. Oh, huh. Interesting. So can I switch? Oh, right. She she goes before me. I can go nine meters. So this is as far as I can move. Okay, so it's not based on, like, action points. I guess we're just gonna bow these guys. Dip. Coat your weapon in the surface to deal additional damage. Shove. Push your target away. Hide. Can I hide? I guess we're hiding. Do I have anything else I can do? Turn. I guess I have to manually enter. Eldritch Blast. Wait, what? Do I? Is there friendly fire? I wonder if there's friendly fire. I'm gonna not take the chance of there being friendly fire, and I'm just gonna kind of move. Let's move to like here. One D10 force. We're gonna bada boom, bada bing. It only did three. That sucks. Jump slash disengage. <laughs> I can move more, I guess. Uh, let's just end our turn. Oh, he's got a bow. Crossbow. Okay, they didn't do anything. Okay, well, fuck you. I'm just gonna stay as far away as... Really? I only did one. What is this do? Second wind. Draw on your stamina to protect, to protect yourself once per day. You regain 1d10 plus 1 hit. Potion of healing. Scroll of... Revivify. Interesting name. And Githyanki Psionics Mage Hand. Create an invisible spectral hand that can manipulate and interact with objects. Interesting. I guess gonna move to like here and then end my turn. Can I just do this indefinitely? Just boom. I didn't even hit. Boy. Oh, that's cool. Just throw a fireball at me. You have, like, an X? Okay. That did a lot more than the other thing. How much does this heal? 2d4 plus 2. So it can do a minimum of 4. And a maximum of 10. Can I attack again? Target is too far. I guess, I'm gonna go pick this up, I guess. 
<laughs> Can I dip in fire? Okay, cool. Now our weapon can do fire damage. Can I hold that until next turn? That's no fun. Can I have another chance? Now, what the fuck? So Google hey, improve, hey, help Google, to know how stop. You are with my hey, Google, ha stop. Okay. What the fuck was that? Why did it just start? Uh, whatever. Let me turn. Okay, so do I have a sword? I didn't. Oh, I do. I have like a little tiny, little 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 dagger. All right, what else do I have? Mage hand, chill touch. I'm assuming I have to be like. Oh, I can. Oh, hey, cool. I can just do that. Uh, I'm just gonna move as close to him as possible. This is probably stupid. And my turn. I have so much more stuff than she has. She's she got nothing. Hey, you know, that's cool and all. Ah, man. Can I jump up here? Can I jump all the way over here? Woo! What's up, boy? Suck my fire sword. 